Hello Ben the Pet Tester here, quick video um, today just to uh, show you some really uh, obvious things that you might find uh, when pet testing an office and um, failures in particular. So IEC cable here looks fairly um, inconspicuous when you closely look at the plug no fuse unsleeved line and neutral pins so uh, it can be quite an easy one to miss because it, it looks like a, a, a regular IEC cable but that's uh, why it's very important to pull out every plug from the socket when you're testing carry out your full vision inspection so that's one to, to find out uh, another thing you'll come across which is quite common IEC cable there you can just see where it goes into the actual um, IEC connector there and um, you can just see the inner cores are exposed it's just where it's been sitting in the back of the monitor and it's um, it's just bent out so that's a very common one to find um, extension made here you can see where an appliance has been plugged in most possibly a heater um, and it's overheated now I actually did find the heater um, and uh, you can see it's overloaded the extension so could be possible damage in the pins uh, inside the extension lead um, but then you can also see on the plug on the other end you just see that yellowing and the browning there um, I opened up the plug and the wire is showing uh, signs of burning as well inside that so that's an immediate fail just based that's probably had a heater plugged in over the winter and it's damaged um, the plug so that one is a foul, chuck it. And then I like this one here, an extension made where the screws have come out and someone has attempted to fix it by putting through some machine screws and some nuts on the back, uh, which have all come loose. And you can also see there where they've attempted to do it there and they cracked the um, enclosure of the extension lead. So again, um, that one, can't really repair those you can replace them but to be honest for the cost it's cheaper just to buy a new extension made shame because it's a dual plug one and they're um, they're quite expensive but um, you've got to do what you've got to do so um, yeah that's some of the failures you'll find in an office environment when pat testing not always obvious um, but things to watch out for because they're very easily missed